Well, we didn't, we, first of all, there was like no introductions made. Are you going to do that all with like fancy graphics and stuff? Well, yeah, we're doing this now. It's Adam the director. Okay. Chili Gonzalez. Ad Adam Trainer. Adam Trainer. Yeah. Adam Trainer, the director. Uh, yeah. Of Ivory Tower, which is a movie. Yes. Uh, accompanied by the next Chili Gonzalez album. Yes. Produced by Boys Noise. Out now. Enabled by Akira the Dawn. I made a key decision in my life to study music, seriously, and try to get as much mastery over it as I could. I studied basically harmony, which is identifying chord progressions, but also the deeper level of harmony is that you don't think in terms of chord progressions, you think in terms of counterpoint, which is three or four lines that are constantly moving, that flow and that have passing chords and that have that chords that can pivot to other keys. If you're in the key of C. Yes, I know that key. Okay. If you play G while you're in the key of C, that would be called a dominant chord. And that's basically a chord that demands a resolution back to the home key of C. So if you play a C and you play a G, you're gonna have you're gonna have this innate desire to hear the C come back. Mm -hmm. That's what's called being a dominant chord. But that G in the key of let's say uh, E flat mm. um, would have a completely different role because it has a different uh, interval to E flat. So it fulfills, it's the same chord, but it has a different context. So in a way you can um, go from one key to the other using chords that are, that are in common. Is this getting too technical? Uh, possibly for the purposes of entertainment, yes. Well, what is this site? It's called The Quietest, right? This is a music site. It, it is actually, yeah, they're, a music they're, they're very serious. I'm speaking yes. about music. No, they, they would appreciate that sort of thing. So I, I hope that, yeah. that that doesn't, you know, yeah. go against their mandate of being a music site. Really? Really, Akira? What? Really? Really is my answer to that. I'm just saying, like, oh, really? to that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sure about that? Huh? I'll let you take it back if you want. Really? You, you sure you want to do that? What chess is the subject of the movie anyway? I spent 10 years now since I, since I made songs and, uh, and albums railing against, you know, kinds of musicians I don't like, you know, these kind yeah. of false, modest, authentic dudes and yeah. dudettes who kind of go out there and try to act all authentic and try to act like they don't really care. So I've been railing against that because there was a time when I was toying with the idea of maybe being one of these sort of fake artists because it's very seductive, it's very easy. Okay. And this movie shows that, it shows the moment where I was actually trying to figure all that out. And it's also got a lot of my dad and his uncle in it and the brother relationship and stuff. But in the end, I thought, I don't want it to be about musicians. You know? So there's, there's a little wink to musicians because he gets influenced by the idea of inventing jazz chess. So he's inspired by jazz to apply it to chess and make a chess that, he, that will have no winner, no loser. And his brother is a kind of capitalist revenge fantasy kind of guy who's just... Not she. No, played by Tiga. No, I play, you know, what I didn't become. from the writing. The writing was originally a shorter movie but it sort of stretched out into a longer movie because of mixing the the story, the skeleton of the story, the story of the brothers, the story of Marsha and uh, Herschel's nomadism. And maybe it also stretched out because we started to discover like the talent of of these guys to actually act. I mean we didn't know what we were getting into when we had like three Musicians who are actor studio graduates um, being in the lead parts, but they were all really, really good. I'd be sweating. Yeah. I think though that uh, to be fair, you who's been playing chess for a year at least, uh, challenging me who's played chess four times over Christmas, uh, is, is not very balanced. And therefore, I challenge you to a game of Street Fighter. What's Street Fighter? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man, you worked it. I just hustled you, man. I think it's 